was rewritten and adopted, I think, five years ago. Uh, it's, it's worked, yeah, thank you. It's, it's worked pretty well for us for the most part. Um, since that time, there are a few things that, uh, that need an adjustment, but not a lot. The, the larger impetus behind this was the 2016 uh, Supreme Court case, Reed v. Town of Gilbert, which, uh, to summarize all of it, basically prohibited local units of government from enforcing any kind of content-based regulation as it's kind of, is they viewed it as something that's, um, you know, unnecessarily curtails one's free speech rights in, in, in the United States. So there's been a lot of discussion and I've gone to a bunch of conferences to talk about this and listen. And, and the biggest takeaway that folks are, are telling us is that if you have to read the sign to figure out what kind of sign it is or to apply the regulations, then you're regulating by content. And so uh, you can't do that anymore. And so we need to rethink a little bit how we write this stuff. A lot of the effects are gonna be pretty similar um, but how the how the language is actually written in, in, in the ordinance and, and the actual uh, regulation is going to be a, a little bit different. Um, I'll give you some examples uh, of that on page. Oh, let me see here. Uh, for example, on page seven of the draft um, ordinance amendment, you know, we had signs that were like. Uh, like a real estate sign, for example, was a sign located on a property advertising it for sale. Which sounds fine, except that in order to figure out what kind of sign it is, you have to read it, right? You have to read it and say, oh, this is a sign advertising a property for sale. That's a content-based regulation, so we can't do that anymore. So now we have to use language that's like, to just permit someone to have a sign of a certain size when their property is for sale. Technically, that sign can say anything they want. They want to just have a political statement or um, an advertisement or whatever else on it. I guess that's fine. We can't do anything about that. Uh, we're assuming, I think, pretty safely that people will just use it for the intended purpose. Um, but that's that's kind of the, the intent here. So we've gone through this, I've gone through this a few times now to kind of strip out all of that content-based stuff uh, throughout, the, throughout the entire ordinance. Um, you know, some of the, there have been a few challenges um, getting away a little bit from, from the content-based stuff. We've had a few challenges in, primarily in your, in your commercial districts, mostly C3, but also C2 to some degree, um, when there's a grand opening or something like that, or just to advertise some kind of promotional event, there are a lot of uh, stores, gas stations, car dealerships, etc., that want to have numerous signs, streamers, pennants, banners, feather signs are the new kind of thing that uh, a lot of them are, 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 are doing. The, and something that I did want to get your, your input on was that I know last year I think we had a, uh, there, was, there was some discussion that Sue and I had, and I think it was kind of run by council once just to kind of see how they felt about it. So we were getting some questions from uh, car dealerships are just noticing when you drive by a car dealership and they have a, you know, 4th of July sale, you know, promotion. There's just signs everywhere for like four days or a week or something and they all go away. And what's what's kind of the appetite for, for enforcement and how much of the city's resources do you want to spend enforcing this kind of thing? Uh, do you want to allow additional signs that, um, if you feel that that's, that's appropriate and things like that? Um, what I did write in here on page H uh, would allow up to three additional temporary signs may be permitted when displayed and utilized in connection with the grand opening of a commercial enterprise located on the premises, provided that they're not displayed for more, more than 21 days and comply with all the other requirements. Um, again, we get requests for balloons and streamers and all that kind of stuff. So again, that's something that we'd say, yes, you can do this, but only for this one specific purpose. Um, we could, I suppose, you know, liberalize that somewhat and say for 21 days in a calendar year, calendar year this right here, number five, is kind of a one-time only deal. It's like when you're grand opening, brand new, uh, you know, Ron Attire, Ben Baker, uh, for, uh, what's the name of the furniture? Um, 
My hometown furniture is already a uh, big boiler. All these places, like one time deal, you could have additional signs. Um, if you want to allow additional signage like that for other promotional events more than once per year, that's something that we can sort of put in here. Could, could we say something about grand reopening or major remodeling or you know, mm -hmm. something along that line? Because mm -hmm. that would be the other time frame where somebody would sure. say, you know, it's time for let's let's mm -hmm. pull the roof off here and do something. Are there any other opinions on Marty, as a retailer, you got any thoughts on it? I don't like other signs. <laughs> well, it's the, yeah, and we even described them this time. So yes, it's, it's I've seen that. We got that up there. It's actually in the. Uh, has its own little section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, as a business owner, uh, yeah, I want all the signs I can get. Yeah. Right. I understand the need to control it and curb it, and there are special there are special times we have to make the exception to the rule. I get that, but you know, for the most part, when I went through all the signs here, um, I thought it was I thought we did a good job. I mean, I think it's spot on. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, as Andy said too, we just did this five years ago, so that, right. uh, you know, it's not. Uh, but we did go through that with the feather signs and. We, and another yes. job owning in the Chamber of Commerce and a couple of other ways of getting that. Because a lot of it was the people didn't know that they, they couldn't. Yeah, yeah. And that was part of it. Yeah, I think that's that's the case. A lot of they just do it, they don't ask. And that's not because they're you know intentionally trying to thumb their nose at the at the city or anything. They just say, yeah, yeah, put, put some signs on, it'll be fine. Right. And we have to sort of tell them it's not fine. Um, as a general note, you know, overall this I think this the sign ordinance that we adopted in 2013 has worked fairly well. Um, we get a lot of requests, and Sue and I spend a lot of time going back and forth with business owners and stuff, and they're, you know, kind of rolling their eyes and complaining because they're not big enough or whatever. But eventually, they, for the most part, comply begrudgingly. I think there's been one, maybe two variances that have been approved for larger signs. Um, one got denied, so it's working overall. I mean, it's 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 a struggle, but I think no matter how big the signs limitations are, we put in here, it still would be big enough for some people, well, for some businesses, and we'll have that 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 battle. I think continue on forever. Is the, uh, key. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And that's and that's what yeah, and that's what we we focus on with everybody. Is that like everyone's got to comply with this, and we treat everyone the same. Yep. One question I have with that number five with the grand openings. Mm -hmm. I guess is our intent to say that you can have these additional signs once a year only. So like if like my hometown furnishings recently had their first anniversary sale. Um, I don't know if they're gonna have a second anniversary sale, <laughs> but I guess my question is if you limit it to a grand opening, um, a one and done. It, it limits them to, you know, right. a special promotion. Now, obviously, you don't want a special promotion every month where you're looking for these things, but uh, once a year. Well, it's, that's why I suggested that, that we add, uh, you know, if, if they redid their whole building or, you know, something happened materially that would be like a grand opening and there's a huge change in the, in the operation of the building, maybe. Um, that that would make some sense, but if if we allow, if, if there's somebody doing something every day, yeah. that's the other problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if they want a variance, they can always come and, and ask for one. That's the that's the bottom line. They can do that too. Makes them make an effort. Exactly. Yeah. And makes them go through the, the process too. Hopefully, Sue and Andy. Can. So. I just want to note with my hometown furnishing, the feather signs that they had out, they were allowed actually without a permit because there's no writing on them. Isn't that right? And so if there's no writing on them whatsoever, then they don't even have to get a temporary sign from that. Right. Because it's a decoration. <laughs> and it's, it gets pretty fine grained at times, as you can see. But um, yeah, I mean, like, like 
like I said, we, we, we do our best to accommodate when we can. Um, you know, but at the same time, it's it's mostly just about consistency and fairness and, and, and all of that. So there will, I'm sure, be, you know, enforcement challenges and stuff down the line. We can certainly, um, if, if, if the commission is inclined to, you know, consider liberalizing that number five on the, on the temporary sign some more, um, that's fine. If you want to do it like once a year or something, that's, that's up to you guys, I guess. We can do whatever, but... Um, Marty, again, really you're the retailer. <laughs> Once a year? Yeah. Wouldn't hurt, I guess. Let's, let's try it. We're going to have a public hearing. Yes. So anybody that doesn't like it, can come down to our Right. The object, though, is, is to make sure that it, it has to be something special. I mean, that's the. That's the idea, I would guess. They have to come and apply, or? No, they, they, this would be, they would be permit, right? Um, they would get a permit for Yeah, they would need permits for Yeah, temporary signs and required permits, yeah. yeah. So they would come in and yeah. tell us how many signs, where they're going to be, and the administrator. Oh, that, that doesn't come here, obviously, that's just all within City Hall. Okay. Um, for our, Again, that's um, not all the changes are on here because again we 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 updated this based on the last meeting in March. Right. Um, so we haven't made a ton of changes since that time. Uh, added some graphics and sent in some pictures and things like that. Um, otherwise, I think we're pretty close to. Um, you, want, you want to finalize both 19 and 20, and then bring it back here in June, and then we'll set a. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could hold the hearing in June. Yeah, you know? that, that's so fine with me. Do you want to do the public hearing in June for it? And because these are text amendments, there's not a there's not a letter to property owners that goes out. It's just publications right. in the paper. Um, but we could do them both with one notice and then hold the hearing in June. Okay. So you come to council and uh, I see this probably the second meeting in June. Yeah. Presumably. Okay. Yep. So then you'll you'll schedule that then with our June meeting? Yes. Okay. And you don't have anything else with these, right, Andy? Any questions or concerns? I'm good. I think we're good. Um, what's our next series? Let us know. Uh, yeah, I'll have to go back and check. I don't remember off the top of my head. I think we there's not much left to do. Um, we're getting close to going districts. I think that's probably next. We did, we've done site plans, special land uses, general provisions, parking signs, landscaping. Let's let's group the districts then if we can by logical groupings. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, there, there's probably not going to be a, a, a huge number of changes for each of those. So, um, depending on, on how uh, how you know, depending on the extent of, of the revisions, I'll give you. A, Right. However many feels like it's appropriate right. for me. I don't want to sit here with you guys for like five hours. No, I'm thinking. <laughs> well, we get the tough ones first. I'm yeah. thinking commercial, you know, commercial, like, you know, yeah, yeah, that sort of thing would mm -hmm. be one kind of grouping, or residential, and another kind of grouping. Yeah, yeah, so yeah we could do, yeah, you know, non-residential and residential or something. And then the last one would be the uh, updating the uh, definition. Definitions. Yep. That, that clean. That would clean all of that up. Yep. Okay. We're on track. Yep. Good. Uh, staff, Sue, anything? I have nothing further to report. Andy, anything else besides that? Uh, nope, I think we're good. Still, I'm still into training, so keep that in mind. Um, get your proposal in, Andy, to Sue and Mike for training. Training back to us. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did, I'm sorry. I did some training not that long ago, but they're, they're uh, both now that I think about it, cost, yeah. I think, so okay, sure. So we should we should kind of plan on that because obviously we have uh, new commissioners, yep. um, and uh, even those old dogs can certainly use the updates. Yeah, I mean, there's I did a training maybe two or three years ago for, but most of the planning commission has turned over since then, so I can probably bring something pretty similar to that. Yeah, and uh, maybe even you can do one, depending on the agenda. Okay, okay. Well, we're going to have two public hearings over so two. Yeah. 
for the those MML meetings I go to, they there's always planning commission stuff in there. Right. Usually the last hour, hour and a half of the is that it, so yeah. uh, we'll excuse me. Uh, yeah, uh, Commissioner remarks. Uh, first of all, before we go any further, Kelly, I'd like to publicly welcome you to the Planning Commission. It's nice to have you. Thank you. You picked a good one to come to. Next <laughs> 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 well, these are only supposed to be an hour. You were tied to your wife. <laughs> Kelly, we'll, we'll give you first whack at it. Is there anything else you'd like to add? That's nice. Okay, thank you. David? Yeah, what are we fixing our roads? Yeah, he's speaking for me. Yeah. My road specifically. <laughs> are you on Washington? No, yeah. I'm on High Street, the little part in between Division and Jackson. Um, it's not potholes, it's, it's, it's chunks. dirt. There's no asphalt left. Those pieces, the asphalt's in my yard, yeah. in chunks. Well, we're, we're off of Washington, some of us, and it's, uh, it's, in, in, um, you can't drive it. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's gone. Yeah, that's all. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> to answer your question, uh, we had an underground study done of all of our streets and infrastructure that's going on underground. Mm -hmm. November sometime, we're supposed to get the full report back of what we got going on. November? Yeah, this what? year. Yeah, we, this year. we can lose uh, a car at that time. And at that point in time, then uh, roads are going to get classified. And it's that process. My road is the, it's not a main. It's like a trail. Yeah, there, I know. So I'm feeling right. like it's going to get overlooked. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than any other I've seen in town. Get overlooked. <laughs> Mr. Plank. I would bring that up right now. Bring it up right now? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. That's wrong. It's, but the, uh, so <clears throat> the, can, now the conundrum of what to do with yard waste. You can't burn it in the city, but the city doesn't pick it up. And if you only want, if you don't want to buy a new bin with the private company that you really only use twice a year, like, what do we do? You know, like, you can't you sweep it out to the curb? Mm -hmm. You can't sweep it up to the curb because it just sits there in the curb. And I mean, I'd be happy to sweep it up to the curb, but that's that's part of the thing. Is like <clears throat> if you want people to take care of their yards, and then the city should help facilitate help that to, to a degree. City helping day or something. I'm I'm like you know I care enough and I'm industrious enough, enough that I'm not going to just leave crap all over the yard. But it's an obstacle if you're not industrious. What are you going to do? Yeah, you're just going to say well. No one else cares. It's a city concern. You need to uh, attend Monday night. That's what I was told earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be sitting right here listening. So um, that's that's the best thing to tell you. Is that next Monday? Yes. Yes, this, yes, this coming Monday. Yep. Marty, since we've already beat you up. Welcome. You, like I said, you picked a good one. Thank you to our public. Um, thank you to our public that left. Um, it was quite interesting. We worked long and hard on that section. To a lot to your knowledge of your previous community, and um, I have to firmly believe that uh, what we discussed and what we worked out is going to work for us. Um, time will tell. We'll find out. Yeah. That's why that's why we have meetings and why we make new laws. That's that's part of it. So yeah, it is. Amanda. Nothing other than welcome, Kelly. Thank you. Nothing. Welcome. I'm three meetings in. <laughs> and I think it's five hours. <laughs> but it's it's good. We we have a, a majority of the planning commission that are rookies. I mean, and I mean that in a nice way. And we thank you very much for your service, for, for joining us and, and, you know, taking part and learning all about it and caring. I mean, that's that's a, that's really a big part of the Planning Commission is you have to care. You have to care for your community. And uh, so we thank you. And, and uh, that's 
why I'm, I'm desperately trying to get uh, uh, some time carved out where we can do a little bit of training where you can have some expertise given to you uh, about the laws and the, the reason for a planning commission and where we come from and all those kinds of things and our relationship to the city council and, and all those kinds of things. So I think it's very important. And I've been through a couple of them and uh, they're, always, they're always helpful. You always find something new. Um, and that's important. And, and I think tonight was a, uh, a really good case of that because we have a new ordinance. Um, we, we thought through the entire process. I think we, we, we took a lot of testimony and it was, um, I, I, I think it was a good decision. And um, you, know, you guys did a good you job. You, 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 you voted the only way you could. My arguments are moved because I disagree with the ordinance. Right. <laughs> but you didn't, you, you, and, and you're exactly right, you, the, the public does not tell you how to vote. You guys vote your conscience. Yeah. Uh, the, the public comments are just for your information. Yeah. Thank you. Good, Her, good Her, job. Her, right? Yeah. Her. Thank you. Um, so, having said all of that, Kelly, again, welcome. It's nice to have you aboard, and uh, we'll see everybody in about a month. Do we have a... I have a question. Yeah. Being new, uh, several things come into my mind when I'm listening to the discussions. Uh, how might I get those answered during the session? Because I'm not sure if they're appropriate or not appropriate questions to ask. Real, real simple. And, and I'll, I'll tell you this point, point, anybody that's been at any one of my meetings know this. Interrupt me, wave your hands, I'd stand on your head. Um, you have every right to speak. You have every right, as any one of us do, and as anyone in the, in the uh, uh, audience does. But I feel that, but I, I just, that some of the questions are more appropriate, like, no. were there any police reports it, it's, to it's back anything? Like any, any question that you have is appropriate. And that's that's and that's one of the reasons for the training is is it'll help hone those questions. But yes, anytime you have a question, don't hesitate. I mean, let me know. And just you know, raise your hand, jump in. I mean, scream. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm I'm fine with that. I think some of these uh, public comments too. I think we need to uh, start enforcing that five minute rule. Yeah, they were pretty good tonight, though. I thought, and they were. It was it was okay. <laughs> Making sure that when public comment is being it's directed this way. Yeah, yeah, that that's on me. That's that, that was my fault. Um, other than that, move to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Support. All in favor? Yes. Yes. Aye. Stand adjourned. <laughs>